Hey you guys, welcome back and I hope you guys are doing great. So today I'm going to be talking about the designated under 300 rupees lipstick that almost every brand have these days. And today I have five of these under 300 rupees lipsticks that I'm gonna in a way rank. The ranking is gonna be according to the price, the packaging, the mini review, and then maybe a final ranking to conclude the video. So let's start by introducing what are the lip colors that I have today, and I'm gonna be ranking them in order of most expensive to the least expensive. So the most expensive lipstick I have over here in terms of quantity and price is the Wet n Wild Mega Lust Lip Color. This retails for 295 rupees for 3.3 grams of product which makes it 89.39 rupees per gram. Next is the Maybelline Sensational Creamy Matte Lipstick. This retails for 299 rupees for 3.9 grams of product. That makes it 76.66 rupees per gram. Next is the Faces Canada Weightless Matte Lipstick. This retails for 299 rupees for 4 grams of product which brings them to 74.75 rupees per gram. The second cheapest one that I have is the Nykaa So Creme Creamy Matte Lipsticks. These again retail for 299 rupees but they contain 4.2 grams of product which brings it to 71.19 rupees per gram. And the cheapest one in the lot is the Lakme Cushion Matte Lipsticks. These retail for 275 rupees for 4.5 grams of product which brings it to 61.11 rupees. And those are all the candidates of today's video. Now let's rank them according to the packaging. I know people don't care much about this but just to make this video a little bit more fun. The worst one is the Wet n Wild Mega Lust Lip Colors. Closing this without stabbing the bullet is a task and I think they have reformulated or repackaged these at least and I hope the packaging has improved on that. But the one that I have here is pretty damn awful and I absolutely hate closing and opening this lipstick. Next is the Faces Canada Lipstick. The reason why this is in the fourth place is because it is copied from MAC. I know being copied from MAC is something that is very common these days but this is what MAC is known for so just copying it doesn't make sense to me and also this isn't color coded at all you just have to look at the label read that's why it's in the fourth place next is the lacme cushion matte lipstick and this i don't really have a flaw for this other than the fact that this isn't color coded so that makes this go in the third place and the one that comes second is the maybelline creamy matte lipstick this is color coded so it makes it at least a little bit easier if you have multiple shades to know what lipstick you are using and the one that absolutely takes the edge on all of these is the nika one this is the Nykaa So Creme Creamy Matte Lipstick color coded in a way where you can identify it from a 10 foot distance. It is also very cute in my opinion and honestly quite fresh as compared to carrying a black matte bullet lipstick and considering they are all very closely priced i think this definitely takes the cake and come on you guys if nika can do good packaging then no other brand has any excuse of not being able to do the same if you watched my last video you will know why so yes nika won by a landslide let's move on to the mini reviews now i'm gonna talk about the one that i have that is the oldest amongst everything so this is the wet n wild megala slip color the formula on this one is slightly waxy and it's not waxy in a bad way that you wouldn't be able to glide it on no it's not that I'm wearing it right now it is very easy to apply it is very pigmented this doesn't look matte on my lips but that is because it doesn't really claim to be one this is very underrated I feel they have a big shade range but the nude shades are almost non-existent and even this yes it is a nude for me but I know other than this there are maybe five shades that I would classify as nudes for different skin tones but the formula is one of the more different formulas that I've tried and you don't really see anything like this very frequently on the market. It's not that drastically different but the formula in terms of application and when you feel it is slightly different to what a normal creamy lipstick would feel. Other than that as you can see it does have a slight sheen. It is quite long lasting. It goes on really well and on me it lasts for around five to six hours easily. If you eat it's obviously gonna come off but I feel like this stays on better than a lot of my other creamy lipsticks. I really like this formula. I wish I could buy better shades in this now they do have a range but i'm not sure if it's the same formula but for now this is my reference the shade that i have is sandstorm it is a peachy orange nude on me and it will suit fair to medium and medium deep skin tones some skin tones around the medium deep range might have to use a lip planner but regardless of that i think this is a really pretty color this does not sink into my lip creases as much as some of my other lipsticks do it does not dry out my lips and yeah i really like this next let's talk about something that some people might just skip to it directly the creamy matte lipstick by maybelline this is in the color nude nuance the formula it's creamy 
very creamy to the point where sometimes if you apply more than one layer of lip color which by the way it's one swipe pigmentation you don't have to go over and over again but you know sometimes out of habit you will reapply and perfect some edges if you apply a little too much this will sink into your lip lines and you might have to blot some at the end because it looks slightly weird obviously you won't be able to tell that from a distance but you on your own tend to notice these things so yeah it is very creamy if you eat while you have this on it is gonna vanish this does last on me for four to six hours and the finish on this one is rather matte it looks creamy when you first apply it but after an hour or so it does settle down to a more mattifying finish i don't think this is my favorite formula in existence but if there is a color in this particular formula that i'm really fond of or i think i really want i would not hesitate buying it even the cons of sinking into my lip lines it's not that big of a deal for me so yeah i do really like this one too as far as the shade description goes it's a pinky brown nude slight mauve tones to it will suit fair to medium and medium deep skin tones i have however heard that it looks different on a lot of different skin tones so make your purchase according to your research next is the faces canada weightless matte lipstick this is a matte formula it says matte and i think out of everything that i have in this video today it is the most mattifying one it goes on smoothly the formula is good i have however heard that the formula is not consistent throughout their entire range so there are some lipsticks that don't perform as well as some others do like the one that i have it performs beautifully but i have heard that some of the other shades are not the same formula i cannot really do anything about it you might have to check review for each shade in particular but other than that i really like this this is very pigmented goes on smoothly even though it's not as creamy as others i am kind of glad it isn't there is no particular issue that i find with this that makes me feel like this should be more creamy absolutely not i like how this looks on me i would recommend this formula if you are getting the same exact formula that i have experienced this also has a lot of shades to choose from i wish they have more nudes because when i was shopping for which color to choose for this was not something that i wanted to go for at first but other than this they only had options for pinky browns and i have had enough of those other than that it does stay on me for five to six hours which i consider really good if you eat it comes off but it still is better than let's say the maybelline one and as far as the shade goes it is natural earth 15 natural earth it's a orange toned brown will suit almost every single skin tone it might make your teeth look a little yellow so be careful with that and yeah i think i really like this formula let's talk about the most recent launch in the under 300 category and also the cheapest one i'm glad they're at least slightly creating some competition between them because all of these are starting to look the same so this is the lacme cushion matte lipstick this before everything else needs a better shade range i think they have pinks oranges reds and then there is a whole range of cool toned nudes or grayish colors why do you need those instead of something that would appeal to a larger audience i don't get it but i hope they expand the shade range coming on to the formula i think i understand what they mean by cushion matte it is a matte lipstick but it does not make your lips look dry or flat by any means this lasts on me for five to six hours which i consider really good after eating it's gonna come off it is inevitable one complaint i have is that i hope the color was more pigmented you can see the border of my lips through this color particularly i've also heard the same thing about some of the other shades the faces canada one was just beyond my expectations so this i was hoping would compare to that but it does not in terms of pigmentation the particular shade that i have is red orchid and it's a muted red color it will suit every single skin tone the formula feels really good to apply that is it and the last one that i have which is the most recent purchase that i made and that is the nika so creme creamy matte lipstick this is not matte it is more on the shiny side but i wouldn't really consider shiny this definitely looks more satin probably the most satin looking one out of everything somewhere around the wet and wild one maybe this however has a good shade range i think it also categorizes it in different sections which gives you enough options to choose from and bonus points for the packaging other than that the formula is really creamy it's really good to apply one swipe pigmentation this does not make the borders of my lips shine through the pigmentation it covers it really well and as far as sinking into your lines goes this does not do that but if there is a lipstick that is most likely to do that after the maybelline one it is probably this just because of how the formula feels other than that i don't really have 
any complaints it's a damn bullet lipstick it lasts on me for four to five hours after which i notice fading and it does come off when you eat as far as the shade goes this is walk the walk i got this because one of the reviews said that it is similar to the naughty nude shade which you guys know i've almost finished that lipstick and i've talked about it in a few different videos and i finally have something very similar to that and i am glad i got it it's a warm toned pink with hints of nude to it so it's not really bright it's not really nude it's somewhere in between if you want to experiment with colors i think this would be a really good option it does make me look really fresh and i like that so that was it for the mini review now let's come on to the final ranking and i'm gonna say it is gonna be very inconclusive it really depends on what type of formulas you like all of these in a way give a very similar effect but the formulation and application is slightly different so depending on that you can go ahead and make your purchase if you like a particular shade in any of this range it should be fine if you pick that up i'm still gonna attempt to rank them so so the first place goes to the Faces one and the Lakme one. The Lakme one solely because the formulation and application felt nice. And the Faces one, the formula was really good. It was really pigmented and it went on really nicely on my lips. Next is the Wet n Wild one. This might not be in the second place if it wasn't as underrated. I feel like the formulation is really good and kind of different to what you see in the market. It's a well-rounded bullet lipstick. And the third place goes to the Maybelline and the Nykaa one. If I had to go with overall experience, the package the Nykaa one might even take over just because it's pretty but other than that formula and application this should be my final ranking none of these will really disappoint you unless there is a formula discrepancy then I cannot help that none of these are mask proof transfer proof any of that sort I'm pretty sure you guys would have known that without even me saying it so yeah that is it for this video sorry that this was so inconclusive I am aware how frustrating it is when no one tells you what the right answer is but there is no right answer I cannot just make things up. If you ask me which is the one that I would most likely repurchase, probably none just because we are wearing masks and I would much rather prefer to go for a liquid lipstick. Let me know if you want a liquid lipstick version of these. I feel like it might be a little more interesting than bullet lipsticks where things are more or less the same. Leave it in the comment section down below. That is it. That completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found something helpful. Please like, comment and subscribe. Video request, anything of that sort leave it in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye